Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the earnings conference call of RBZ Jewelers Limited for Q3 and 9 months FY24. This conference call may contain forward-looking statements about the company, which are based on the beliefs, opinions and expectations of the company as on the date of this call. These statements are not the guarantees of future performance and involve risks and uncertainties that are difficult to predict. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference, please signal the operator by pressing star and then zero on your touchtone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. We have with us from the company, Mr. Harit Zaveri, Joint Managing Director, and Mr. Harshvardhan Bhardwaj, CFO from the company. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Harit Zaveri, Joint Managing Director. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yes, good afternoon, investors. Uh, so this is the first earnings call of RBJ Jewelers Limited. And uh, uh, let me brief you about uh, the industry and how uh, the back end, uh, that is the manufacturing section of the jewelry industry works. Uh, we are an organized manufacturer and uh, the uh, we supply our goods to organized retailers so uh, generally uh, you know on the uh, wholesome uh, in the four quarters that we uh, that we see quarter 3 are the best for the retail uh, people and the uh, wholesale people uh, wholesale retail uh, uh, the people who do uh, you know have uh, the people who supply to the retailers uh, independent, independent retailers. Uh, as far as organized retailers are concerned, they generally uh, do their purchasing uh, well in advance and before uh, the Diwali or the festive season begins. Uh, so uh, quarter three, uh, as we are also into the wholesale segment and the retail segment, plus we are servicing to the organized retailers, uh, quart uh, as far as quarter three is seen, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's a promising figure of around uh, from last year that we have done around 92.60 CR. This year we have done around 115 CR. And uh, uh, there has been an increase in uh, uh, employee expenses from about 1 crore 59 lakhs to 2 crore 18 lakhs. Uh, we were already going for an IPO and uh, the, we, we had started building the infrastructure up. So the reason of a very heavy increase of around uh, of, of around 30 percent plus in the employee cost is because the infrastructure was already ready to be. It is not that once we get the money, uh, it it was not possible that after that you know we have we start to you know deploy the resources. It was done well in advance. And another another rise that we have seen is the finance cost that has risen. That is the result that we have uh, we had bought a, a retail property. And the long-term loan of 19 crores uh, uh, accumulates to the interest of around 1 crore 36 lakhs, and uh, uh, that was one of the reasons that the, both the cost had gone up. Still, uh, we have uh, we have done a profit before tax of around 9 crore 14 lakhs from the last year, which was 7 crore 88 lakhs, and uh, uh, the the uh, I think the PAT are 594 uh, from last year December 22 to this year's. 6 crores 81 lakhs. Uh, generally, uh, from uh, RBZ Jewelers Limited, the quarter two remains strong in terms of organized retailers getting the supplies in advance. And quarter three also remains very, very good in terms of the retail and the wholesale that happens. So, uh, I'm looking forward for all the questions that investors uh, might have, and you know what my uh, what uh, what might they want to understand. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchtone telephone. If you wish to withdraw yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to please use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles.
The first question is from the line of Saranj Sethi from Summer Wealth. Please go ahead. Hello, am I audible? Yes, you are audible, sir. Sir, as I can see, the retail share in revenue has increased to 41 percent from 23 percent in FY21. Do you have any further plans to increase your presence in retail market? Uh, I'm sorry, the voice is little blur. Can you repeat the question again? I wanted to know, do you have any plans to increase your presence in the retail market? As I can see, the retail share in revenue has increased to 41% from 23% in FY21. See, uh, 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 I, must, I, I must first make you understand about the business model. The business model is job work. Uh, we have uh, wholesale and we have retail. So, with this perspective, let's say if the revenue has increased from, let's say, uh, X to, let's say, Y, uh, we need to really understand what the volumes have increased. So in FY21, we might have done a great volumes in terms of, let's say, job box services. And, uh, you know, in FY22, might have, uh, you know, done a great, uh, you know, a good performance in terms of retail and wholesale and also had a decent growth in, in job box. So on an accumulated level, let's say if you see the, uh, uh, to directly answer your question, yes, the revenue will increase and we are looking for, uh, certainly we are looking for a substantial and a significant rise in terms of the volumes that uh, you know we had done pre in previous year that was 1059 kg we are looking forward for a you know 1200 kg volume this year and uh, considering this nine month performance i think we are uh, you know on on track with the uh, with whatever we have said uh, but uh, you know, this year, uh, certainly, uh, you know, we have, uh, because the funds have just coming on the you know, the end of almost the December end. So the utilization will, the, in industry, the season begins from uh, month of July onwards. So month of July onwards, I think you'll see, uh, you, uh, we, can, we are expecting that due to the increase in variety and inventory, there can be a sharp rise in terms of sales and uh, sales figures. And yes, in, com uh, in uh, coming two years, we are 100% uh, you know, we are sure that we will expand to whatever we have committed uh, on any of the media or to any of the investors. But certainly, we are uh, expecting a significant growth in the company for another at least two years for this funds to, you know, uh, for, for, by raising this funds and also the debt that we will be raising in future. And sir, do you have any plans on expanding the showroom account? See, we have already, uh, we, we have a showroom of around 11,000 square feet. Uh, we uh, we are expanding uh, 3,300 square feet. We, the utilization was only 6,600 uh, square feet. We are again utilizing, uh, you know, the unutilized area of the showroom was 3,300 square feet and we are utilizing it now. So, uh, I, I think by October or uh, August, we should be ready with the, uh, the additional space. And uh, the showroom has got itself a capacity of around 400 to 500 crores. Uh, to offer, uh, touching the top line of 400, 500 crores. So for another two, three years, I I, I think that uh, you know we are in a right uh, infrastructure and space that uh, you know we have, and I think the retail is going to expand. Uh, you know, as, as well as the wholesale is going to expand at the same pace. So uh, you know, uh, operationally, uh, you know, uh, the show the, the, if if once the infrastructure is already ready, why should we look at another uh, location as of now? Okay, sir. And sir, secondly, I want to know about your hedging policy. So generally, uh, uh, so uh, there are when 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 we say that there are three different business segments. The in job work we get gold in advance, and we generally do the services. So around sixty percent of the business or fifty percent of the business, which is of job work services, you can say that you know the, we get the gold directly from outside, and then we you know whatever we uh, save uh, while manufacturing. We keep it in the closing stock, and the rest goes, uh, you know, to the to the client. So, uh, on, and uh, talking about the 40%, uh, whatever we generally sell in terms of gold volumes, uh, we generally purchase at the same day. So, this is a this is a general policy of uh, gold that we hedge, and uh, uh, our our accounting has is done on the basis of uh, work uh, average inventory. So, the current market price of inventory, if let's say it is let's say uh, 65,000. Uh, the average of uh, the work uh, our, in, in the accounting things because the it is it is on the weighted average method the inventory uh, would be at a quite a lesser value so uh, 
so in that way uh, we we play safe in terms of uh, you know because of the weighted average method we generally play safe with the you know the diver, the the disparity between the market uh, current market price and the weighted average of the account, the book inventory value understood sir thanks a lot thanks thank you ladies and gentlemen to ask a question you may please press star and 1 The next question is from the line of Rajesh Singla from VTG Capital Services LLP. Please go ahead. Hello, uh, hi. Am I audible? Yes, Rajesh, you are audible. Yeah. Hi. So I just uh, wanted to reconfirm from you. So in the previous uh, question, uh, the remarks you had said that your retail showroom uh, is capable of generating 400 to 500 crore kind of revenue. So is that correct or uh, like did I hear properly? Yes, it is correct. So that one retail store can generate 400 to 500 crore kind of revenue. Uh, yes, Rajesh Bhai. See, in general, also if you check any of the stores from wherever you are located, the benchmark stores that you have in your city, let's say in Bombay or anywhere. uh i am not telling anything which is coming from you know just uh, it, it's it's in the industry itself if there is an established retail showroom of 10000 square feet it is easily capable of generating a volume of 400 500 crores it is uh, generally if you have a lot of stores let's say you know there, there are smaller stores there are bigger stores combined and then the average gets lesser because there are some stores who are yet to mature some stores who are not in their growth phase some stores are facing different kind of challenges but here we are in you know in this in this city we are strong we are established the brand is there so it the, you know operational efficiency is there so what i am talking uh, i mean we will be able to deliver this uh, 400 500 uh, crores of uh, you know retail uh, sales and um, uh, as far as i am seeing uh, 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 you know the numbers that are quoted with the square feet that we have i think it's 100% achievable and it is already happening in the industry Like, how much are we generating right now from this retail store? And this 400, 500 crore can we expect it by FY26? Uh, 400, 500 crores. I think uh, uh, by FY26, 27. Uh, by FY27, we should be able to do it. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, uh, by, uh, we, we, year on year, we should be able to see a growth of around 30, 35, 40, 30, 35 percent. And I think uh, within the matter of three years, we should be easily able to double it from this year onwards. let's say and last year we had a we had a sales of around 138 crores okay and one more thing so one, uh, one more question on that so you recently raised 100 crore from the ipo and i was yes. going through one of your uh, video on youtube so there you mentioned that you probably will raise 100 crore of that as well so that gives you uh, fund fund capacity of around 200 crores and which is like substantially uh, which is like which will cover at least uh, to double your sale from the current level so if i look at your working capital number so you need probably 156 crore kind of working capital so 200 crore additional funding should uh, more than double your current sales so when can we expect uh, the full utilization crores uh, which you would be having uh, uh, which you currently have and uh, can we expect the fy26 or uh, to be like 100 or to, to show the uh, Results of 100% utilization of the funding which you have raised recently. Correct. I think uh, the equity fund should be 100% utilized by the second quarter of this uh, next financial year, and uh, the uh, and the debt fund should be again utilized. Uh, you know, once it uh, you know once we get the limits sanctioned and when it is approved, I think uh, the fueling uh, in any in uh, this industry, the whole industry starts from the month of July. you know uh, to uh, you know it till february 15 or february end then it slowly diminishes at, uh, at least in the north east and west region the south has akshay tritya in it and uh, but generally yes uh, so the uh, the whole uh, it, it, we will be able to see the spike in the sales from the start of this season i think in the month of july and 100% equity will be utilized by the quarter 2 of this uh, uh, the, the next financial that is fy25 Okay. okay okay and any plan to have one more retail store uh, in the next uh, couple of years like by when you you are expecting to add your another uh, retail store of the similar size uh, 
so we are 100% focused on the manufacturing side because right now there are there is 40% of the retail in india is is organized and only 15% of the retail uh, manufacturing is organized so right now the demand that we are seeing from the organized retailer is quite strong i think this has the low hanging fruits and uh, we are uh, aiming to become uh, the player uh, the, the topmost player in the occasion segment of the jewelry industry so in in which right now also 80% of the volumes that we do are in the manufacturing side and we are uh, you know short short focused on that and uh, with this funds coming in with the debt funds coming in we are going to expand uh, that thing and we uh, the, you know the disparity is very heavy there is only 15% who are catering to 40% of the organized retailers and i think we are the player in that category so we are we are focused in uh, the manufacturing segment also while we the, the expansion in retail has no uh, ha, has to go on continuously uh, i think uh, we the, the we are at the right pace right now uh, you know let us understand the top line of uh, let us reach the top line in uh, you know in whatever years that we have planned and uh, i think we should yeah. be able to continue with the same ratio of 20s to 80 but uh, this is the time when uh, you know manufacturing if you know really focused upon can deliver uh, strong results rajesh does it answer your question uh, hello can you hear me uh, yes we can hear yes you. rajesh bhai i can hear you yeah, yeah sorry so okay so maybe just last uh, question to summarize so based on the numbers which you have spoken so far so it looks like uh, so 400 crore of kind of retail revenue by fy27 and probably 300 crore kind of uh, revenue or maybe 400 kind of revenue from the rest of the business given by the ipo money and maybe uh, one more fund raising until fy27 so fy27 could be kind of 800 crore kind of revenue we can expect yes 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 that is what we are expecting Yeah, in terms of margin, so should we expect the further improvement in margin given the change in product mix, or or you think that the product mix will remain same, uh, the segment mix will remain same as we move forward, uh, despite uh, the fact that you are uh, focusing more on uh, the manufacturing side. So should we see uh, that you would be able to maintain 13, 14% kind of EBITDA margin going forward, or we can expect uh, further improvement from here on? sir so i think uh, the 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 figure to see uh, the uh, the business in which we are in there can be various products or various kind in which we sell the products it can be in terms of services it can be in retail it can be in wholesale but as a as a company what we really look at is uh, or what we are sensitive in is uh, if we are getting rupees 100 are we able to generate 20 25 rupees from that so return on equity or return on capital employed is what we are sensitive and if you are asking about the return on equity and capital employed i think we should be able to maintain the track record that we have okay 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 thank you thank you best of luck to you thank you sir thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen you have pressed star and 1 if you wish to ask a question we have the next question from the line of prateek bandari from art ventures please go ahead Yeah. Hi. Good afternoon. Am yes, I? Hi, Pratik Bai. Yes, you're audible, Pratik Bai. Slightly blur, hey, but it's it's fine. Okay. 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 So, uh, just a couple of questions from my side. As so you stated that you are focusing on manufacturing, and uh, the retail would uh, you know simultaneously grow as well. So, like uh, out of your total revenues, how much is the contribution coming from manufacturing in terms of revenue? see uh, sir in terms of revenue things can differ but uh, you know uh, revenue of see when you understand our balance sheet the component of volume is more critical because services only the labor part get actu- uh, get actually you know on the top line of the balance sheet so generally let's say we have done 600 kg last year in terms of services the you know the labor income might be just let's say 10 crores or whatever the top line might indicate just 10 crores but uh, you know that is a very huge component and that actually does not make us a company who is producing let's say uh, you know uh, top line of uh, 280 crores or odd but it actually uh, you know if you see it from the right perspective we are a company which you know does a business of 550 600 crores because the service uh, service thing is not getting accumulated on the top line so now to answer your question we are 100% focused in manufacturing 
uh, see, uh, the, the, the value is entire, right? From retail to manufacturing is what we are actually having. But uh, because of the disparity in the market, that is 40% of the retailers are organized and 15% of the manufacturing is organized. We have, a, I think, these are the low hanging fruits and we should really try and uh, get that you know, thing as fast as we, uh, you know, as we can. So I think 80% we are into manufacturing, 20% we are into retail and the proportion will continue in the same manner. Okay. Okay. And uh, so where do, uh, do you see your, you know, the top line uh, at the end of this year and for the next year? So at this year, I think a uh, reasonable top line of around 340-350 crores. I think that uh, is something that we are, uh, that we should be achieving. And uh, by next year or next to next year, I think the, the two years, I think, uh, uh, see the top line can vary according to product offerings. You know, I, I might, I, I, I might uh, produce products which are high margin products or which are low margin products. That is different. But uh, let's let's talk about uh, you know uh, that in the next two years we are uh, we 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 are uh, you know planning that we should be able to uh, you know double the balance sheet uh, the I think from the pat of 22 crores that we had in the uh, in the fiscal 23 we should be able to make a pat of around 40 50 crores uh, 40 40 crores in terms of in in FY 26 or so on. So, I, I, you know, return on capital employed and return on equity should be, I think, consistently, uh, you know, consistently seen. And uh, the industry season starts from the second quarter uh, of every year. So, I think the spike should come from the second quarter should be very critical and third quarter, so quarter two and quarter three last time, last uh, of fiscal 25 is actually critical, sir. So, you know, that will actually say us that if we are, we are, uh, are we in line because this year I can say that, yes, we are in line with whatever we have said, you know. Uh, around 350 or 340, 350 crores of turnover, and uh, you know, uh, I, I think the uh, the pat also should uh, you know go on the same trend, you know. So, but next to next year, I think 26 we should be able to uh, you know uh, completely utilize the balance sheet size, raising the debts and everything. So, balance sheet of 200 crores, that's if it's generating 22 crores pat. Balance sheet of 400 crores, that is 100 crores of equity plus 100 crores of debt, should be able to generate the similar level. You know, the trend should continue. Okay, so you mean to say that uh, by FY26, the PAT would be somewhere between 42 to 44 CR, right? Correct, correct, correct. So that is what we are expecting, sir. So, and yes. what kind of site we are expecting by the end of this uh, financial year? Sir, I think uh, that is uh, something, but we will have the same trend, sir. I think the trend will continue. Let's say we are having an 18 or 19 crore rupees of PAT in nine months. I think you can easily understand the trend, what is going to happen in the coming three months. All right, all right. And uh, do you have, uh, you know, any capex plans uh, for the, you know, upcoming two years? Uh, sir, uh, see, right now, currently, we have a enough capacity as far as the equity right now, with what is getting funded or the debt which is getting funded. But we certainly want to scale ourselves, uh, you know, because the opportunity is there to scale. We are looking for scale and we are looking for the right time to get ourselves invested in the capex things. So, uh, yes, uh, I think uh, we are looking forward for uh, having a handsome facility uh, of around 6 to 10 tons. And uh, uh, But again, uh, you know, that, that, that requires the correct timing, that requires a, a right kind of, uh, you know, you know, because that would again require a very heavy working capital. So as of now, what we, whatever we have raised plus the debt we have raised, we have got an infrastructure to, you know, uh, generate returns from that. Uh, but uh, as far as the vision of company close, it was 100%, uh, you know, uh, we, we are in for scaling. So uh, in that perspective, yes, uh, the capex might happen, but I cannot exactly tell you, pinpoint and tell you when, uh, but it is in the mind of the management. Right. And uh, I could see, you know, from your balance sheet that the borings have certainly, if I compare from March 2021 to, you know, somewhere uh, at the present moment, it has ranged from 60 crores to more than 100 crores. So, you know, what kind of, you know, uh, the finance cost, uh, uh, you know, in terms of percentage, uh, what is your finance cost? Since the interest has also climbed up. Yes, sir. The interest is classy. There are uh, short-term borrowings and there are long-term borrowings. The retail unit that we had, we had 
taken a long term borrowing you know purchase that unit we have taken a long term borrowing of 19.5 cr the company the property is in the name of company only it's both the properties are owned by company the registered office also is in the company name and the retail showroom is also in the company name so you know uh, that is one of the reason otherwise if you minus subtract that uh, thing it will be from 60 to 80 and if you see the 3 year or 4 year record it was 50 crores when the gold rate was 30000 rupees and it has just uh, increased to another 30 crores that actually uh, you know that actually says that uh, you know in terms of kgs we have not increased that that uh, to the level that the gold price has increased that actually uh, you know we are we were having a good opportunity in the market to you know grab the market and also but bankers have their opinion that okay we can increase only 20% 25% you know the bankers go quite conservative in terms of increasing debt i think the company should have uh, you know uh, uh, you know given this kind of figures or given the business that we have and the opportunity we have we should be able to we should have been able to raise more debt but okay so around uh, finance cost has remained the same yes we have got an impact of 1.36 crores uh, this year because of the long term debt that we had increased and no equity funds coming in i think the equity funds are in resources of employees have been already uh pulled i think you can easily see that there's a 37% rise in the employee cost and that is because of new new and good employees getting in the company uh you know for the future expansion to happen uh easily the balance sheet will be able to show you that uh, you know uh, all the infrastructure and the cost that are been built up next year or next 2 2 3 years you will getting the result of it <laughs> yes sir i think the debt i have already told you you know the the reasons i think from uh, if you consider 50 crores also 150 kg was my debt according to the rate of 30000 if you just rate double the rate as 60000 my debt has actually reduced in terms of kgs right right and as you stated that you know uh, retail showroom of you know approximately 10000 square feet uh, size is capable of generating a revenue of 400 to 500 uh, in between that range and uh, from other businesses you you will also be generating revenue which will be in the range of 300 crores so do you mean to say that uh, by financial year 27 your revenue would be ranging somewhere between 800 crores correct sir okay okay and just a last question from my side uh, what kind of margins we are expecting for this year and uh, the next year so the margins are you know uh, quite uh, i'll tell you quite subjective you should actually the right question could have been uh, you know <laughs> that you know what are the volumes that you are looking for so if the volumes are let's say consistent with the same product category i think the margins is just a derivation you know return on capital employed or return on equity is what we are actually aiming for generally we don't aim for the top line also you know we can sell a low margin product and get the top line we can sell anything you know but return on 100 rupees lagaya na sir 100 rupees se 20 25 rupees banna chahiye wo company ka general philosophy hai so you know uh, abhi uh, 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 with the same product category and all yes the top line can go to the the levels that we have actually spoken and uh, i think uh, the services business uh, will grow at its own good pace the retail and the wholesale business will grow quite strongly the wholesale business will grow much more faster in the coming to financial years so i think uh, this three things combined we should be able to deliver that what whatever we have said sir fundamentally the company should be able to generate the same capital of return on capital employed roci and roi and uh, i think uh, in fiscal 26 or so so the figure that is stated for your volumes last year was approximately 1060 kgs right correct sir so where do you see this to be growing uh, in the next year so the next year it should be in the range of 1600 kgs sir 1600 to 1650 kgs let's say all right all right okay thanks a lot yes sir yes thank you sir Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one if you wish to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Rajesh Singla from VTG Capital Services LLP. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Hello, sir. So regarding hi. regarding this RO, ROC and ROI, whatever you are talking about, so in this uh, should we think about you, you currently have like so, uh, a significant amount of unused capacity. So your manufacturing capacity is already operating at 35-40 percent, and your retail showroom is also um, uh, having significant amount of unused capacity. 
shouldn't we think about uh, that uh, this ROC will also expand as we move forward uh, to a larger number of uh, revenue growth because 400 to 500 crore from the same store which you currently have that should also boost uh, your ROC going forward as compared to 21 23 percent what we had in the last couple of years. So this could have been right if the major investment of the business uh, would have been in the asset class of it. But if the, uh, because in our case we are into a high working capital company, so the ROC, uh, the, the the whole capital, the huge deployment of capital is there in the you know working capital zone that is stock and inventory. So you know uh, the infrastructure to facilitate the growth is hundred percent there. But uh, uh, just because of the unutilization of uh, the infrastructure, uh, you know, being present would, uh, you know, it, it is difficult to understand, uh, you know, that will it lead to an increase in ROC. ROC, uh, mm -hmm. sir, generally, uh, I can say that uh, if you talk about the asset turnover, the asset turnover uh, surely, uh, you know, will be better, uh, you know, going forward because, you know, it will be the same kind of, let's say, investment and with the same kind of retail store we are able to generate much more kind of revenue so asset turnover can improve or roc to improve i think inventory has to be looked upon sir because uh, you know we are heavily uh, we are invested into inventory and that is where we actually get our returns from okay. thank you thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen you may press star and one if you wish to ask a question To ask a question, ladies and gentlemen, you may press star and one. Participants who wish to ask questions may press star and one at this time. We have no further questions, ladies and gentlemen. I would now like to hand the conference over to Mr. Harid Zaveri for closing comments. Over to you, sir. Uh, so, uh, thanks, investors, for you know asking questions. And uh, as uh, you know, the words uh, I you know have been stable. Whatever I have committed, whatever the company has committed, I think we are looking forward for that kind of growth in the coming uh, couple of years uh, and hence forward. Uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, what I think the uh, the market has given us faith, and uh, with that kind of uh, uh, with that kind of results uh, uh, coming in, I think uh, you know, uh, I, I, I can uh, on a one sure note, I can say that whatever has been said and whatever has been committed will be delivered, and we are upon it. Uh, uh, you know. And, uh, it, it, earnings call and the annual results are the uh, right way that a management can get in a conversation with the investors or who are the interested people. Uh, but, uh, you know, apart from any of this, I think uh, there has been a lot of words said and spoken, you know, in and across media and, uh, you know, uh, uh, to the investors already. And uh, th these, are the, these are the same words, these are the same results. So, yes, sir. Yeah, you know, we are upon our words and the company will show results, uh, you know, in the coming two fiscal years or so. And uh, thanks a lot for the interest. And, uh, you know, if anyone has got any other queries, they can 100% uh, 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 you know, uh, mail to the company, uh, you know, for, the, for their uh, any, any further queries that they have. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of RBZ Jewelers Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines.